Okay, guys, welcome to another call. I'm with Samir, another one of my uh, coaching students and brothers. Hello, Samir. Hi, Jad. Thanks for uh, doing this call with me. I appreciate it. My pleasure, man. And so today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, your coaching experience, our experience together, and uh, kind of we're going we're gonna to explore what your transformational journey has been what have been the breakthroughs what have been the blocks and um yeah let's just jump into it so um where were you before you started getting uh first of all before you started getting coaching uh how long would you say you were struggling with women stuck um how long were you stuck uh, uh let's see uh actually for all of my life but uh, when I started really working on that, it was maybe four or uh, five years before uh, I met you. So I used to read all of these uh, books, all of these online uh, articles, all of these. Uh, I took a few prog programs as well, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, uh, video courses or something. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but it didn't really uh, help me because, as you know, lots of the advice out there isn't that uh, that good. Mm -hmm. That's one. And two, um, I had no one really guiding me and mentoring me. It was just the information there. And uh, I had to translate it in whatever way I could understand. So, Okay. So what made you finally uh, stop seeking out just information and then uh, seek out help, seek out uh, coaching? Well, I tried doing it on my own. And then it didn't work. I figured out I, I need to spend another uh, five or ten years maybe to learn all of these things on my own mm -hmm. or get someone who is more experienced than me to, uh, to help me throughout this process. And uh, this is why I decided to uh, pursue uh, coaching. Okay, okay, cool. And um, we have, we've had a lot of uh, exciting times together and you've yeah. had a lot of breakthroughs and a lot of... Uh, huge transformation and uh, just for anyone watching uh, I don't think you would recognize Samet if, if you saw him uh, a number of months ago I mean he had he, he did like a, a physical transformation fashion uh, he got the cool beard going the hairstyle uh, we, we had a transformations on a lot of levels and uh, I just I want to say like I'm, I'm very proud of you for all the hard work you put in and like um i want anyone to to who's watching this to really know like if you put in the hard work and you put your mind to something then you can get transformation and you, you can get it pretty quickly too so uh, i'd like you to just tell everyone kind of the differences the contrast before, between where you were struggling before and now like kind of the breakthroughs you had where you were struggling and breakthroughs could you give a yeah Sure, sure. So um, uh, basically, I've been uh, someone who has always never had the attention of uh, of women. So I was always the shy guy, the guy who sits alone with two or three usually male, male friends and uh, just isn't that social, isn't that outgoing, isn't that uh, attractive. More of a, the nice person that never messes with anyone. So th that was it. I wasn't noticeable. I was just sitting at the at the side. So uh, when I decided to uh, pursue coaching, I decided that enough is enough. And uh, I started uh, uh, going to YouTube and I found you online. I found all of your videos. I found lots of other people, but I really found that you had lots of integrity. You spoke what you really felt. You weren't about just... Uh, making the sale, you really wanted to help people regardless of whether you make money out of them or not. So this is why I decided to contact you and not someone else. Because as you know, there are lots of people who do this kind of thing. Yeah. So, so with that, I started my uh, coaching with you and uh, it, has, it hasn't been anything uh, less than a transformative experience. I mean, uh, look at me now. If you look at me at the camera now and then if other people uh, see me without the beard and the way I used to talk and all of that. I mean, it's totally different. I mean, uh, I feel it when, when the women are around me, women who didn't used to look at me are like all over me now. So, and, and the beautiful thing is that I get to choose for a change. So even lots of women like me and I'm like, 
no, I don't want that. Usually I used to be so desperate for any kind of attention. And when I uh, think about that back then, it, it seems a bit pathetic. And when I see all of these guys doing all of these wrong things these days, I just want to grab them and uh, shake them and tell them that's not the way you do it. But I mean, they, 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 they wouldn't listen um, um, up until they decide from the inside they want to change. So uh, on a more uh, technical level, I've changed my style, my, uh, my beard. I, I'm exercising more. I've always used to exercise, but I'm learning the importance of uh, my self-image. I mean, it's not just the looks. It's the, the way you present yourself to the world. Mm -hmm. The importance of uh, uh, the inner game, that's very important. So how to be more in touch with my masculinity. So I remember once you told me you're too enlightened. So I'm thinking to myself, is that a bad thing? I mean, uh, Aristotle was, enli was enlightened. Yeah, but I'm not sure how much women uh, Aristotle had around him. So, so yeah, I, I've recently realized that I need to be uh, more grounded, not too much in my head mm -hmm. and uh, uh, get, get uh, on the ground, do the things that I need to do and most importantly, trust the process, especially uh, when I don't understand. So at least give it a try, mm -hmm. see what happens, and then discard it. Not discard it before I start because I'm uh, afraid of taking action. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, beautiful. That yeah, beautiful. And it's like one of the one of the big transformations is uh, now. Now you're like. You don't take shit from anyone. You have a backbone. Uh, you. You don't, you know, you don't tolerate disrespect from from anyone, women or men, right? And now you, you're you're strong in who you are, and I love how you said that I get to choose. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, it has really helped me uh, respect myself more. And when I look at the mirror, I I, I do respect myself much more. So I've always uh, uh, respected myself and respected other people. But when usually when I had to clash with someone, instead of going inside and just uh, fighting, uh, fighting the fight when I need to, mm -hmm. I, I would shy away or just say, uh, no, it isn't worth it or mm -hmm. whatever. Basically, these were excuses not to uh, reach out into my uh, inner masculinity mm -hmm. and do what I have to do. So these days, if I am not going to fight, uh, I'm not saying fight in a physical sense, in an uh, emotional sense. So if I'm not going to fight, it's it's because I am in the position of power and it's not worth it for me. Yeah. Not because uh, I I, uh, I am the underdog and I will uh, uh, I will I will have the lower hand in the conversation or whatever. So it comes from a position of power, not from weakness. Which makes all of the difference. Yeah, all of the difference. And you're you're also willing to walk away if a woman is acting bratty or bitchy, or you don't stay there. You walk away, or you know, you put her. You know, you don't take her crap, basically, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I I've, I've had some funny stories where I didn't take the woman's shit, and she was like a, a very uh, show off and stubborn, and she's she she comes back to me like in a different. Uh, uh, personality i mean who yes, who's sir. this person yeah yes sir because that, once she sees your strength then she's like ah real man and then she comes back to you but she comes back to you so she softens up right exactly she's like you you feel there are two different people there <laughs> yeah yeah it's because you broke through her barrier right because that that could be a test too right so with everyone exactly. else she'll be bitchy and bratty and misbehave and disrespectful but because she saw that you didn't back down from her then, ah, okay, with you, she's going to be different. She's going to be the real her, right? Yeah, I mean, on the, I've realized uh, on the inside, she's wishing someone stops her. Mm -hmm. and, uh, exactly. But no one does. Yeah, but nobody does. And every time uh, she steps over, all over a man, she's disappointed as a woman. Yeah, exactly. And, and uh, she becomes more frustrated and more angry. And yeah. it becomes harder to get her to, uh, to put her back into her place. So exactly. it's a cycle. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, can you tell us a bit about how you've now decided to just, um, just be yourself more, be, speak out your mind more, whereas before you're more politically correct, let's say? 
Yeah, I mean, I've been raised in a family uh, where uh, we did all of the socially acceptable things. Very honest people, very nice people. But I mean, you can't uh, get the breakthroughs like that. You live all of your life uh, the same. You can't grow unless you uh, break some barriers. So I've been personally uh, uh, exploring the topic of honesty, of um, integrity, all of these things. And, and then when I, when I started coaching, uh, getting coached with you, I realized that I'm not applying my true self to the areas of relationships. Mm -hmm. so, so if I see a beautiful woman and I say in, inside my mind, this is quite a beautiful woman, I'm not saying it uh, out loud because it's politically incorrect or uh, she might get uh, uh, offended or for whatever uh, thoughts I had in my head. These days I say what I, I say, if I see a beautiful woman, I tell her, you're beautiful. And just expressing myself, it's up to her uh, to react. If she reacts negatively or positively, that's her issue. That's not mine. Mm -hmm. I stand out to who I am as a man. I put my true image out there and rare are the men who do that. So I stand out and women see the whole difference. Beautiful. beautiful. I love it. And how does that feel for you to be just to have that freedom? Man, it's uh, very liberating. You don't have to edit yourself. You just uh, say what comes uh, into your mind. And, uh, and I mean, women sense this power. So uh, even men, they want to befriend you. They want to be uh, around you. They want to talk to you. Uh, I mean, I, I've, I know men where there's a group of women and there's me. They come talk to me instead of talking to the women. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. People gravitate to authenticity and truth and power. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, once you reach that place, uh, you use you, life uh, has a different uh, perspective. So I'm not sure I can explain this in words, but but you become part of life instead of being on the sidelines. You start creating life. You're you're the center right now. Not uh, someone on the sidewalk just sitting watching life as it goes. That's beautiful. So you go from feeling like you're an observer watching to like a player on the field, like you're in it. Yeah, exactly. So instead of watching life unfold in front of you, mm -hmm. you create the life that you want. I mean, how much of a difference does that make if yeah. everyone could do what they uh, would love to achieve in their life? Yeah, that's beautiful. And also in terms of simplicity doesn't that just like simplify the whole game and the whole you don't have to remember all these techniques and all these when you're just being fully self-expressed and just being yourself exactly i mean uh, the biggest shift that i learned from you with coaching aside from all the technical breakthrough is to focus on being instead of doing mm -hmm. so when you are yourself you go, you simply, you like a girl, you go tell her, I like you. And she's, uh, she really sees that because you're so authentic, you're so true. She believes it. Yeah. Instead of having all of these fancy techniques and not being true on the inside. Mm -hmm. So. So what would you tell? So now, um, obviously, uh, nobody's on top of the mountain. So nobody arrives, not me nor anyone. It's a constant journey. But let's say being on having been on, on that side where you were stuck, where you had no idea how the whole seduction game worked, how you had no idea why girls aren't attracted to me, why are those other guys getting girls but I'm not, oh, just looking at the game as a, this kind of blurry, messy, confusing what, what's going on, to now being at the point where you understand what's going on, you understand the dynamics, the psychology, all that stuff, and you're actually you're getting results. Coming from that point, what would you say to the guy who's still on the other side, confused, thinking this is impossible, and uh, am I going to struggle with this with my whole, for my whole life? What, what advice would you give him? Well, honestly, what I'm feeling right now, I hope this doesn't come across as too feminine, but I would want to hug this guy, tell him I really yeah. know his pain, I understand what he feels, yeah. uh, what his frustrations are. But I would tell him at the same time, you have to uh, take a deep look at yourself, Tell yourself that what I've been doing all of this time is not uh, leading me anywhere. 
you have to take a hard look at yourself and first of all admit that you're not doing the right things yeah. and from there you can start seeking uh coaching or the help you need or growing mm -hmm. but but before you reach that place even if you uh t take 24 7 coaching for 10 years if you're on the inside you're not willing to change or at least try new things mm -hmm. this will not work out for you i've i used to uh to look back and uh to look sorry i used to look and uh, be confused what's happening and so on now these days i see a guy and a woman and i immediately can tell that he isn't going anywhere with that woman because i'm seeing him doing the, all of the same things that i used to do in the past <laughs> i just want to go and tell him stop doing that do this and that, but but he won't listen yeah yeah wow that's that's great advice right like take a look at yourself at the end of the day, I think getting good with women is, it is like so much about yourself as a man and facing yourself and not lying to yourself. And another thing is like, you have to get to that point where you're like, you know, enough, enough. Like I'm not, I'm not going to tolerate this for one more day, one more month, one more, like one more year. Cause that's any, everybody who comes to me, they're at that point. And if they're not at that point, they don't change. Yeah, exactly. You, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Even yeah. if you have to spend your life trying, mm -hmm. you'd better live a life trying and failing that not, than not doing anything. When you reach that point, you'd be, uh, you'll have all of the amazing breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. And so let me ask you, did you do a, a few things that were outside of your comfort zone uh, or things you didn't really, weren't very excited to do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for one, carrying again my smartphone. I, 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 at nights, I don't carry my smartphone to disconnect myself from work and so on. Yeah, and you like your no, you have to carry your smartphone. Yeah, you I yelled, I yelled at Samad when I found out that he went out to to uh, to uh, parties and and stuff without his cell phone, uh, without his smartphone, because then I'm like, how are you gonna get? How are you gonna get their Facebook? How are they gonna? So uh, yeah, it, it's funny. Some, some I told. I told you that sometimes you have to sacrifice some things in order to, <laughs> to get Yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I have to tell the story. I just remembered it about uh, the girl where I fixed her laptop. Oh my God, I had it on the notes, but I forgot to ask you. Please, that's a perfect example. So anyway, there was this girl I really liked and uh, uh, we hadn't went out yet, but we had some sort of chemistry going on. So... Uh, for some reason, she had her laptop uh, not working, and I uh, volunteered to fix her laptop. On on, I've, I wanted to fix her laptop so I could get to see her. So it was more of an excuse rather than an honest uh, an excuse to get her on a on a date. Not actually a date, but to get her out. Yeah, exactly. So I'm on the call. I'm telling Jad all of this, and he starts like, "What the hell are you doing?" I'm. Not, he must have used even more. Uh, uh, bigger words, but I can't remember them. What are you doing? Why, why is this happening? So are you are you her technician or are you go, do you want to go out with her? If she were a 300 pound uh, guy with a big beard, would you have done that for her? And I, I mean, he got so intense, but that really helped me. And I had uh, written uh, in big words, free favors go unpunished. That's what he told me to write. And I said, up, I said no free favor goes unpunished. Okay, no free favor goes unpunished, yes. Yeah. So I wrote that uh, <laughs> on my uh, desk and it stuck there for a while until I memorized it. So Yeah, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, like, uh, so, uh, yeah, so Simon at the beginning, he, because, and that's the evolution now, like now he wouldn't be caught dead doing something like that. And that was only like three months, four months ago. Yeah. Maybe five, but a short time ago but uh you know he was at the place where he thought he had to come up with an excuse in order to get a girl to go out with him right and then the belief behind that is like i can't only come as myself i have to come as myself and present something else and say please like me girl you know and now we're at the point where you understand that you don't have to do anything you just speak your truth put out an invitation and if a girl likes you for you, great. If she doesn't, you know, you know your worth. So, yeah, it's 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 great to see the the transformation in such a short period of time, such a huge huge mindset uh, mindset shift. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you become yourself, results happen. Mm-hmm. Getting uh, good with women is a result of who you become, not of what you do. Yeah. So yeah, well said. It's all, it's, it's all about the inner game. That's it for me. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the inner game, and of course, looking the part, which you have done incredibly well. You know. Yes. So I also want to point out uh, is that for anyone watching, is that a lot of guys because there's so much information out there, a lot of guys uh, think that if I know the techniques or even if I know the mindsets, uh, then I can get any woman. I don't have to worry about my appearance. Not true. You have to work on everything. You have to work on your body. You have to work on your appearance, your style, your presentation, because how you present yourself is a direct reflection of how you think about yourself. If you want women to see that you respect yourself, you have to respect yourself. Uh, by taking care of yourself and also all these men out there we all want a quality woman we want want a good look we all want a good looking woman and so we have to put in the effort we're going to get the reflection of what we're putting out Uh, so it's it's very important it's also i mean everything i I say it's it's a holistic game but of course the inner game is the most important the doings probably are are, have a minor minor importance in that game but uh, yeah yeah, amazing transformation. So, yeah. um, I don't know, on my notes, I think uh, I think we covered everything. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, yeah, well, one last thought. I mean, I, uh, I had this uh, idea in my head that men are uh, much more uh, interested in looks than women. Mm-hmm. So, I never took care of myself uh, on the outside. Mm-hmm. So... So I, I used to be this amazing uh, gift on the inside, maybe, but mm-hmm. the wrapping was very bad. Mm-hmm. Come think about my about it now. It was uh, I had some sort of hypocrisy there because I expect women mm-hmm. to be uh, pretty and uh, have all of this great uh, presentation, and I wouldn't look at a woman with an amazing personality who wasn't uh, who didn't present herself to the world well. Yeah. So why would I expect her to look back at me? That was very hypocritical. So uh, I, I decided that this was uh, something I should be doing to present myself to the world properly. And uh, with your coaching, I was able to realize that uh, on the outside, it also matters. I mean, I would say it's the tip of the iceberg. Yes. The whole iceberg is under, but mm-hmm. people only see the tip of the iceberg. Yes. So that's the, it. Yeah, yeah. Well put. And it's like, your appearance is kind of like that just allows you the opportunities so that the door can open so that you can see the rest of the iceberg if you want to say right like if 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 we're if we stink and our hair is messed up and everything we can be the best guy in the world but she's not even going to want to interact with us because on the outside it looks like we don't respect ourselves so so it just opens the door right to opportunities and then of course the depth comes exactly exactly yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, uh, for anyone who's watching, if you've been on the fence about receiving help, receiving coaching, and you're at the point now where you're stuck and you've had enough and you want a breakthrough and you're curious about uh, what it looks like to get some help, uh, I want you to go over. I'm, I'm offering free 45-minute strategy sessions uh, for men. Uh, not everyone um, qualifies because obviously my time is limited. So there are specific qualifications, which you will see on another page. But go to jattjones.com forward slash apply. And if you qualify, I'll give you a free 45 minute session and we'll see if we can help you. We'll give you uh, some strategies. And then if it's a good fit, maybe we can even work together. So uh, thank you so much, Samet, for taking the time. Uh, another thing that I've really seen is that with with all you great guys that I coach, it's like we're not only we be, we become friends, we become we become brothers, and we're all in this together in terms of we're a st- standing for men's greatness. Like uh, Sam didn't have to take time out of his busy schedule to come and do this interview, uh, but he wants to help other men just like himself. As you mentioned many times during the interview, right? You see guys, you want to help them right yeah so thank you for being that stand for for other men and hopefully i'm sure that this video is uh very encouraging and inspiring to a lot of guys so thank you very much thank you for your time and i hope i have uh, really uh, contributed and helped uh, other men start their transformation yeah for sure for sure 
Okay, Samuel, have a great day and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you. You too, Jad. Okay, take care.